This is Afternoon Sports Slay with the Queen, Micah K. Now remember, I'm doing this for the love of the game. This is Football Wine Wednesdays. Where all my slayers and slay ads at, okay? All my ladies and fellas, make sure you got them wine glasses out. Make sure you know, sip with the Queen. I told you I was going to be back this week. So I'm sipping on that barefoot red Moscato, okay? California, deliciously sweet. I like more of a sweet wine. Now tap in with the Queen to tell me what's a good wine for me to drink. I got a couple that I'm going to feature that I have. Have, you know, you know, I haven't really tried yet all the way. Okay, now I'm going to only focus mainly on football. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of James Harden talk, but I am definitely going to be going full force on the basketball and boxing talk next month, right after the football. Okay, right after the football and the Super Bowl, excuse me, because I had to at least talk a little bit about football for all my football fans out there. Now Another thing that I wanted to ask all my slayers and slayettes and all my new supporters, let me know if you know any women who really, really love sports. I'm talking about people who are really passionate, who connected. Let me know who I can follow on social media. I'm definitely trying to get my, you know, connection game up and just really be able to connect with people as far as women that really love the game, okay? As far as football, basketball, it can be any sport. Just let me know. Now, also boxing fans, okay? You know I love boxing, all right? I got a lot of things coming up dealing with boxing. Now, I'm definitely going to be doing a prediction video on Angelo Leo versus Stephen Fulton Jr. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. That is going to be coming up no later than Friday. Plus, we will definitely discuss Tank and Garcia tweets. And I'm going to sprinkle in a little Devin Haney talk as well, all right? So just let me know how you feel. Slayers and Slayettes, listen, tap in. Now, let's get into the new segment. This is the third week me doing doing this segment it is called micah's moments like twitter moment to moment but i am not just going to focus on twitter we are going to focus on instagram post and facebook post as well whatever stands out to me the most let's get into this first tweet i quoted this tweet with a detective emoji okay only my immediate family really noticed i really love like doing little detective games and playing with imaginary people when i was a kid so you know my sisters my mama know you know i used to do that so they understand about the detective emoji now i might share story you know maybe at another time why i do that so much now let's get into this first tweet this is somebody that i highlighted last um last week as well his name is emmanuel acho okay he's an nfl an nfl analyst and i feel like he does a really good job and he just makes it easy for you to understand football especially if you don't watch it as much okay so he said an offensive fumble in the opponent's end zone giving the ball to the opposing team at the 20 is forever the worst rule in football he said hashtag chiefs hashtag browns now if you watch that game Listen, you knew, you felt like, I know I tweeted, I was like, listen, the Browns have an opportunity. That was would have been really big. I feel like the momentum would have shifted in the Browns' favor if they would have got that touchdown, if it wasn't for the touchback. However, I feel like they still had an opportunity because Patrick Mahomes went out with a concussion, and I feel like the Browns still couldn't get the job done. But the Browns still had a great season. If you follow anything with Cleveland sports, in particular with football, you know that Cleveland Brown still still did an excellent job for this season okay and I will always have love for Cleveland because in the beginning of my college okay my college days I went to Cleveland State I still have friends in Cleveland okay so salute to Cleveland now let's get into that second tweet okay it is from hog at hog NFL and that's h-o-g-g -G, okay hog reports on all things Packers and the NFL draft plus he was featured on this okay this particular Twitter page was featured on Fan Sided and 24 Sports. I don't want to say the page or he was, okay, because I don't know the person personally who's running the page. Now, this, this was a good tweet. It says, two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time playing each other in the NFC Championship at Lambeau Field next Sunday for a shot at the Super Bowl, okay? We've been wanting this matchup for years, ladies and gentlemen. We got it, Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. Buckle up. Okay, now, what also stood out to me, he has a really, a really, really cute graphic pic of Brady and Rodgers' face, okay? So, I love cute pictures, and I love videos and things like that. So, okay, don't we all? Now, 
excuse me too i'm not gonna try to hide my hand because my nail broke okay i'm real big and dang my nail broke before i did the video but it's okay you still gonna see my hands okay you still gonna see my nails now let's get into a question this is for all my nfl heads out there who do you have winning the super bowl who will win in the nfc and the afc championship games let's discuss just a few good extra side notes before we get into basketball okay so i love citing my sources not only am i a sports analyst I consider myself a sports journalism. I got my degree in journalism, in journalism. So I have to cite sources. Now, this is from ProFootballNetwork.com by Mike Tanier. Okay, hopefully I'm saying that last name correctly. This is about the NFL Championship Week. Okay, now he talks about the best offensive players. He says the best running backs is coming from the Green Bay Packers. Now, let's get into the handy dandy notes. Again, a good point that Mike made. He said Aaron Jones may be third fiddle to Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams but he finished fourth in the NFL with 1,104 rushing yards all right now he said he averaged 5.5 yards a carry and is clearly the best running back still standing now let's talk about the best wide receivers he gave that to the Kansas City Chiefs this is a really good quote too he said he said Tom Brady's howling commandos have the big names and the depth okay Devontae Adams and Stephon Diggs are the two best all-around wide receivers yet Tyreek Hill forces opponent safeties to play 20 yards deep while tight end Travis Kelsey commands and often schools cornerbacks in coverage now let's talk about the best offensive line he said he gives that to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now Mike said for the defensive the best defensive players okay he talked about a couple of names he said it was Shaq Barrett Jason Pierre Paul and Dominican Sue all my Lions fans tapped in you know about Sue now he said blitz happy linebacker Devin White and secret weapon William Ghoston and others give the Buccaneers a pass rush that is every bit as star studded as their receiving corps all right now Mike chose the Buffalo Bills as the best secondary plus so much more info plus so much more info this was a really good article so i i encourage everybody before the nfc and afc championship game definitely read that if you kind of want to know some more information i'm not going to talk about the whole full article but that was just some of the good information that he uh gave it was really a good article to read now let's get into this third tweet the last and final tweet for the queen for today okay now this is from at clarence hill jr his bio says on twitter he's a cowboys writer since 1997 okay he quoted the tweet and said how did he uplift Stephen Silas this is a quoted tweet from M grads okay follow me the tweet says hashtag shots fired now he is referring to James Harden's IG post okay how many of you guys know the NBA has been giving a lot of juice Harden went to the Brooklyn Nets so listen the juice is thick, like I said. Now, let's get into Harden's IG post, which stated, we do all of this talking about uplifting the next African-American athlete slash male. Okay, he went there, ladies and gentlemen, and some of these ex-NBA players use national TV or their own social media to do the opposite. I see it, and I just say to myself, the real never lose. Then he says, salute to Ed at D Wade for being solid. So he feel like D Wade showed him love and defended him, okay? Now, how many have you been following the NBA and basketball, everything that's been going on? I'm talking about my real basketball fans that are really tapped in. Who really followed what Shaquille O'Neal said about James Harden, okay? Also, did you follow the post-game press conference right before it was official when James Harden left to go to the Brooklyn Nets? Did you follow what DeMarcus Cousins said and did you follow what John Wall said, okay? Hmm. Listen, it's getting spicy. Let, let let's take a sip. Everybody that's tapped in right now, take a sip for me. Take a sip because then I tell y'all, I told y'all the NBA was gonna get crazy, especially when Harden. Listen, I did Harden Part 1. I am definitely going to do Harden Part 2. Let's pump the brakes. I'm not going to give you my full thoughts. Let's wait till next month, okay? Black History Month. You know I'm about to be all the way tapped in. Listen, I'm not going to be... It ain't going to be no jokes. The queen is going to tell you how I really feel about this James Harden situation. So you got to make sure you following me. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to tell you. And I'm not going to hold back at all. I promise you. But you know Kyrie is coming back. The reports that just broke today said that Kyrie is 
is happy that James Harden is joining the team. So we're going to see how that is. Let's wait and see how Kyrie is implemented into the system with James Harden and Kevin Durant. Okay, we're going to see how they all work together. The Nets did really good for MLK Day. You know, it was a lot of basketball on. You know, I was tapped in from the beginning to the end. Okay, listen, all my slayers and slayers, make sure you follow me. I promise you I got so much more on the way. Now, remember, I'm doing this for the love of the game. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and definitely hit that notification bell. I promise you I had something really good in store. It's coming in the next couple of weeks. You know, just be patient with me, all right? This is the queen. This is Micah K. This is Afternoon Sports Slay, and I'm out.